know I got something for you guys. I got a big old buff nugget I know you're going to enjoy. And I want to take you back to your days as an elementary school student. Do you remember when a teacher gave you your paper and it had a sticker on it? You're like, oh, yeah. I got a sticker. Those other kids, they didn't get a sticker. Look at me. I'm better than you, right? That was a great feeling to have, right? Yes, it was, Brian. And even the scratch and sniff, and I, I remember getting those. And I was like, ooh, crab legs. Ooh, that's a great sticker, right? Well, I think GIFs are the new sticker. And you're like, well, Brian, I've been around a while. I know GIFs are kind of cool. They're light stickers. No, I'm not talking about GIFs, like just regular old GIFs you find on GIF. I'm talking about your own GIFs, custom teacher GIFs, like whatever you want to make. I'm going to show you how to make some, how you can organize them, and then use them for your students' digital assignments. Let's get to it. Crank that chainsaw. All right, so here's what you came for. So here on the left, you see I've used a Google slide to put all of my amazing teacher-made GIFs. Yes, I made all these using this app on the right. We're going to get to that in a second. And I think Google Slides is a wonderful place to organize and archive these GIFs so then we can use them in that traditional way of stickers, like those ones that we got when we were younger kids way back in the 80s and 90s, maybe even the 2000s too. And then we can put them on all the, all the students' digital assignments. So it works like this. You find one you like that you made, like Shazam. This student did great work. You're going to, go, you're going to copy it. And then you're going to open up that student's digital work, and let's pretend it's this right here, and you simply paste. And just like that, you have made a child's day. They want to scratch that. They want to sniff it. They're just excited that, hey, my teacher made me a custom sticker that maybe other kids didn't get because mine is much more rad than theirs. So there you go. That's how I kind of do that, justify why we're making GIFs. There's probably a million other reasons why we're making GIFs. And plus, I just think it's fun. I think fun has value. So I'm using an app called Wibble on the right. It's I know it's an iOS. I'm sure it's an Android too. Uh, they have a very basic free version, but it's, it's it will be missing a feature that I really like that just that does save you some time. So you take any picture. So here's a picture of me. I'm standing in front of some school buses. And it, on the bottom here, on the bottom, there's a special little button. It has some stars and a circle. And what this does is if you use the paid version, the paid version I think is five bucks a month or they have, have, they have a yearly thing or you could do a three-day trial, they let you automatically remove the background. Let me tell you how awesome this is. You click one button and within seconds you have removed the background. And that's vital to a GIF sticker because it needs to have that transparent background. If you're like, well, Brian, I just don't have the five bucks. It's going to be a pain. Then they have things online that you can take your, your pictures, your regular pictures, such as this website here. It says remove.bg. I've got my friend here, Jesse Cole, owner of the Savannah Bananas. I took a picture of him, put it in there, and just really quickly, it took away the background. And, um, and the free version of this is pretty adequate for GIFs because we're not looking for super high quality. Did you hear me? Hear me? Hear me again. GIFs, we're not looking for super high quality. We're looking for these very small little images to go on top of other images and other um, and other apps. So 400 by 400 was perfect for a quick little download. Okay. So uh, I want to show you that for those who like Brian, I can't afford the uh, the magic, the full Wibble magic. So let me show you how this works. So I've got my background. I'm on the app again. I've got my background gone. And then look at, i got my background gone. You like that? Yeah, I know you do. But then look at all the different ways you can make this GIF move. Get that GIF moving. So you can click this button right here. And it's like, oh, yeah. And that can have some text on there too, right? Maybe it's you smiling. Maybe it's you sad like, oh, Johnny, you could have done a better job on this assignment. You know, and then you can put some text on there. So let's say we really like the reveal. Let's click the reveal one here. Oh, look at that. Just pop up and down. Excellent. Excellent. You did it. Excellent. And so I'm going to hit check, I think. Check on that. And then you could add text. And so you can do double tap and maybe put sweet or a wheat. Yeah, a wheet. That's awesome. Sweetheart. Oh, sweet. Don't, don't put sweetheart. Okay. Sweet. Check. And then you can move that. It takes a little, you know, of course that thing's, there we go. It's, it's kind of hard to get. Okay, there it is. Sweet. And then I can uh, hit check. And then on the top right, I can just export that bad boy. I can change the fonts and do all that. I come in here. It's going to make the wibble. It's going to save it to my camera roll as a GIF. 
Um, and so I'm going to take this one step further. I showed you how to use this with your students, but I know a lot of you guys are on Instagram and I think this is fun. Like, well, Brian, how do you get your own GIFs, your animated stickers on Instagram? This is pretty sweet. So I'm going to go to Instagram real quick. I'm going to take a selfie. Let's see here. There we go. And then I'm going to, um, oh, I got to go to my camera roll. And I'm going to pick one of these GIFs that I already have. So maybe the Shazam one. I'm just going to hold my finger down on it. I'm going to copy. Go back to Instagram. And it's like, ooh, Brian, let's just add your own sticker. And what, what is going on? Did you know you could do that? You could totally do that. And then you send it on. That's for your stories. You can add your own GIF stickers, guys. Hey, guys, that was fun. Am I right? So if you enjoyed that, make sure you do all the wonderful YouTube things like like, subscribe, write something beautiful in the comments. Let me know you enjoyed this. And I tell you what, this is really for the kids, but secretly it's really about the teachers too, because I think making your own GIF stickers is just fun. Hey, thank you so much for watching my video and allowing me to share another fabulous buff nugget.